Okay, I've got time real quick to check out something before I have to take off. This is for a a trailer for, I believe, a horror movie because someone wrote me yesterday to specifically mention this to me. I can't remember if I'd already seen this in passing on YouTube. Not, not watched the video, but just saw the thumbnail for it. It's for a movie called Caveat. This is a third party, but I did see the first second or two of it and it indicates that it's a Shudder exclusive or Shudder original or something like that, which is cool because I have Shudder. So I'll be able to check this out if it's if it looks interesting to me. So the video length is about two and a half minutes long. I don't know if the trailer itself is going to be that long. Looks like it's going to be over two minutes. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. I have a few days work for you if you're interested. Doing what? Babysitting. My brother died last year. He had a daughter, Olga. She keeps going out to the house where he dies. The place is in the middle of nowhere and I don't like the idea of her being out there on her own. So 200 a day, just to go to the house and keep her company. That's it. Something shady. There's got to be more to it than that. Uh huh. You didn't say anything about the house being on an island. Come on, what's the big deal? Does anyone know you're here? Wow. Aaron said he killed himself. In the basement. Creepy. Is there someone down there? Are you going to tell anyone what I asked you to do? She was mad. I won't do something like this. Do you think he's going to let you leave here? You really made a mess of this. What is up with that thing? In the background. Oh, wow. Okay. Dr. Death. That looks new. I don't think they're going to show anything else. Yeah, no, they're not. What's that? That looks interesting, Dr. Death. Okay, I get distracted by these little videos that come up at the end. Anyway, this looks quite creepy. And I can't tell if it's something supernatural. I mean, it looks like it's got elements of supernatural stuff going on with that little toy, but that, that might not be at all. That may have nothing to do with it. Or if it's just straight up creepy human-based horror, which to me is the creepiest scariest kind so i suspect that it's going to probably end badly for for the protagonist i just kind of have that feeling i don't know why i'm so drawn to horror movies you guys especially since most of them are so awful and even the ones that are well done as far as just really good, you know, as far as the technical aspects of it, good audio, good acting, good cinematography, good, good lighting, good, you know, everything. They end horribly most of the time. Sometimes the horrible ending for the protagonist is appropriate, makes sense. And then other times it just becomes so formulaic to me that things end badly for the person that they don't escape, they don't make it through, or, or, you know, the nightmare's not over basically. And that gets a little bit tiresome. And yet I'm still drawn to watching these things. I don't know why. Anyway, uh, yeah, this is, this looks interesting. I'll check it out. I like, uh, films from like the UK. I find that many times they're quite well done. 
the acting from over there to me is superior to a lot of the acting from over here in the U.S. And I think a lot of that goes to just the training that a, that a actors from the U.K. receive. They just get really, I mean, it's just, I, you know it when you see it, okay, that the acting is top-notch for a lot of productions over there. So that's one of the reasons why I have seen a lot of UK stuff, like movies or shows, um, mostly in the genres that I enjoy a lot, crime, mystery, that sort of thing, horror. So because I've got access to Shutter, I can check this out at some point. I don't know when, obviously. There's all the movies I would like to watch, but I'm quite limited on time. And since I got back from California just a couple days ago, I kind of, like I indicated in my, my community post, basically hit the ground running with work as soon as I got home. So I'm kind of uh, figuring my schedule out and also got some plans for other stuff for the channel, like some live stream discussions that I've mentioned in some other videos already. So um, I don't know. If I get around to it, if I enjoy it enough, I'll make a review of it. We'll see. But yeah, I've got to take off. So I think that's it for recording for tonight. And we'll see you guys later. Mm -hmm.